Hi everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm sitting here with the amazingly talented Caroline Jones. How are you doing tonight? I'm great, Brent. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks uh, for having me. Uh, we're so happy to have you. You just played uh, a couple songs for us mm -hmm. and uh, sounded amazing. By the way, gorgeous guitars. Thank you. Yeah, they're my babies. How, uh, how do you select them? I saw on Instagram, actually, you also, there were some other really pretty ones that I was hoping maybe you'd have here tonight so I could look at them. Yeah, but. well, we were only doing two songs, so we only brought two, but um, how do I select them? I just, over the years, I started playing guitar, I started with acoustic, um, you know, you just, through friends and musical collaborators, you get to learn more. I've learned so much about guitars from my producer, Rick Wake, my tech, Jorge Stelling, and... Um, we have like a little co-op, like community of all our guitars together, um, and Rick has some amazing guitars. But tonight I played a Collings, which is my first electric guitar. Um, it's kind of like based on a 335, and then I played, oh, my um, Master Belt Strat, which is like a beautiful, nice. beautiful thing, JW Black, yeah. No, and you play excellently. I, I think I had read on the internet, so... I'm positive it's true, but I think you started <laughs> vocal lessons when you were like nine, mm -hmm. wrote your first song around 10, mm -hmm. and when did you start playing guitar? Cause I didn't start playing guitar until I was like 17 or 18, pretty wow. late. I'd been writing songs for quite a while before I started playing guitar. I took piano lessons as a kid, but I really started playing guitar so I could be more self-sufficient. Um, it, from a songwriting perspective and then for ultimately from a production perspective which really inspired me to pick up other instruments as well. That's good. I took karate to be more self <laughs> Where, how, What belt are you? Um, what's like the one that's like the best? Black. That's me. I like my belts <laughs> like I like my coffee. Black. And yes, double stripe or do they do the stripes? I, I have no idea. But yeah, I, I feel like I, can, I I like that kind of stuff I don't too. think I made it to whatever like the second belt is okay. and then I probably got bored with it. <laughs> um, but you were actually born here in New York City? I was, cool? yeah. Wow, you did your homework. Yeah, I, I was born here and then I moved stuff. to Connecticut when I was uh, maybe toddler. I uh, spent most of my childhood in Connecticut and then when I was in high school I came back and went to high school in New York City at the Professional Children's School. Um, it's a performing arts school Sounds uptown. like a child labor yeah. no, professional it was, child it was awesome it was um, basically you go to school in the morning and then in the afternoon everyone has their profession so a lot of the school was founded for um, children who were in Broadway shows who couldn't go to normal school and so um, there's a lot of Broadway actors and actresses there's a lot of like ballerinas like ABT there's a lot of Juilliard students like students who spend six seven hours a day practicing something else and can't maintain a normal school life. So it was really fun because you're surrounded by all these creative people who have a passion at a young age. That, that sounds awesome. Yeah. So you were able to do that and like really spend yeah, that time I, on your craft. Yeah, I started making demos and, and going to the studio after school. Um, well, it definitely shows. I mean, oh, thank it sounded you. pitch perfect and, and uh, really awesome. Um, and now this past year, 2018, I think has been a big year for you, fair to say. You had the album Bare Feet come yeah. out in the spring. Yeah. And then you've been on tour with like Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, we've been touring all year. So we released my debut album in March. Um, and it's my baby. I co produced it with Rick Wake, who's produced Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. And, um, and I wrote all the songs and played most of the instruments and made it with a really small team. So um, it was really a labor of love for us. And we put that out and then we've been touring all year. We toured with Jimmy Buffett a lot. We toured with Jimmy Buffett and the Eagles. And the which Eagles. Which was a dream come true. We toured with Zach Brown, Kip Moore, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, and Vince Gill. So we've been touring almost all year. We just wrapped a couple weeks ago. And then um, next year we'll head out with Kenny Chesney and Zach Brown Band again. So wow, yeah. And I think Rolling Stone named you uh, uh, one of the top ten country artists to watch. Mm -hmm. That congrats on that. Thank you That's so much. That's really cool. What I guess made you choose country? I had read again on on the internet, um, so 100% verified. <laughs> I think you were into a lot of different types of music, but when you were a teenager, you had traveled to Nashville and uh, decided country was the way you're gonna go. 
Right. Yeah, well, when I, I didn't grow up listening to country because we grew up in the Northeast. Um, it sounds like it was more prevalent in South Jersey where you grew up Absolutely, than it was yeah. in Connecticut and New York. But um, so I really was completely unaware and uneducated on country music until I went to Nashville for the first time. And I just really connected with um, the authenticity of the songwriting and like the purity um, and attention to the craft and like the excellence of the craft, which can sometimes get lost um, in modern music because there's so many other bells and whistles that are so exciting and compelling and also very creatively valid. But I just love the craft of songwriting and country is what made me feel fall in love with that. A lot of um, great storytelling in country. Yeah, that's the whole basis of the genre. So I really fell in love with that and I do have a lot of influences. I love pop music, I love dance music, I grew up singing opera and jazz, so I have a bunch of different influences as I think we all do in 2018. Um, but I just, my music is still rooted in that like acoustic guitar, electric guitar, um, singer-songwriter tradition. So I think country's like the best lane for that now, but there's all kinds of influences in my music for sure. And, and country is huge around, around the nation. And did you, um, I guess, where where's the tour been going or where do you plan to go? Has it been around the U.S., international as well? Um, well we've toured basically the whole country the past two years. Um, we'll do our first international run in March at the Sea to Sea Festival, which will be so fun. So that's London, Glasgow, and Dublin, Ireland. Um, and that'll be my first time performing shows overseas, wow. which is so exciting. And they love country over there is, is what I've heard. But yeah, you know, it's beautiful because you really on tour, on these tours, and especially the country tours, you really get to see the whole fabric and the whole topography of America and Americans. It's and it's such a beautiful country and there's so many, each place has its own charm and its own energy and its own vibe. And the people are so nice, like in the heartland of America, you know, cause I spent so much time in New York and the people are just so different. They're nice, but they definitely have a different vibe. And then you go like into like real middle America and the people are just so kind and so hospitable and not pushing you down the street. <laughs> but that's beautiful though, you've gotten to see um, all over the US Everywhere, and then you'll yeah. be touring internationally as well. Um, your So your debut album, I mm -hmm. think, obviously made a big splash, did some really great music videos, I think, for, for Bare Feet, the, the song, and mm -hmm. then also uh, Tough Guys, mm -hmm. which I think what was that, number one for like five weeks on the... On CMT, yeah. That's really cool. It was exciting. Yeah, I love making music videos, and we have a few coming in early 2019 that I'm really excited about. And I, if you're looking for like a, you know... A leading man? Yeah, We I mean, just wrapped. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah. well, that seems really coincidental. Maybe next time? Maybe next time? <laughs> uh, I'll take that as a definitely next time. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. I'm excited for that then too. Um, I'll see if I can get off work or whatever. <laughs> I've been going to the um, the child per professionals school, the, so like the, the, professional the, children's school. Yes, yes. Aren't so like, you like a little old for that now? <laughs> you would think so, but my reading level is still very, very amateur. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, during the day, but at nighttime, I can I can come shoot okay. or whatever. You know. I'm supposed to be working on my profession, but um, I've just been... Well, have my people call you. Yeah, people. I've just been hanging out, watching cartoons and stuff. What kind of cartoons do you like? I don't really like... Oh, well, actually, I lied. I don't really like cartoons, like, in the TV sense, but animated movies are some of my favorite movies. Like, we were just talking about The Lion King. We were, were you here yeah. when we were just talking about that? I was somewhere, mentally. Which, is one <laughs> of the, which was one of the best movies ever and we were just talking about the, the Elton John score and the orchestration and the songs and now they're making like a live action version did you see that but it's I'm confused but it, it will still be amazing because I love The Lion King so I love animated Disney movies does that count I think I, I can't judges yeah that counts that counts you're all clear um, and then do you have plans for a follow-up album for sure yeah we're kind of in the early stages of it now There'll be a couple songs out early next year. And we're always recording. Like, I'm always writing, we're always recording, we're always creating, whether we're in the green room backstage or like I have some time off. Um, Will it also be foot based? You know, foot bare feet. Bare, oh, bare no. feet, maybe the, so maybe the follow up <laughs> I was like, album. What? The follow up album um, might be like socks. Socks? Or that's actually that's pretty good. Socks and sandals. Okay. 
That's like more Jimmy Buffett vibe. Socks and, and like with a apostrophe N apostrophe sandals. You've got this planned out. It's like you I heard forget. it here first. Uh, yeah, that's a Pop Dust exclusive. Socks and sandals. I guess what is, the, is there a message in your music? Like, you know, if you play it backwards and you listen closely, maybe there's something subliminal. Oh, like the Beatles thing? Yeah. Not intentionally, but actually we should play it backwards and see what what it sounds like. What Maybe there is a message. Um, yeah, I guess, is there something though that, that, you know, you try to tell fans or? You know? For sure, yeah, my music, um, the two emotions that I really want my music to put across are- Fear and, and okay. hatred. <laughs> <laughs> no, our authenticity and joy is um, I really, I think, the artists that I've always connected with and always admired and look up to are artists that I felt um, had a really authentic message that was true to like the soul that they were born with. And um, I think that's the essence of great songwriting and great artistry is really to have that individuality, you know, to be able to um, craft that uniqueness and then put it across in a way that other people can connect with. Um, and then just joy. I, I think that um, Sometimes lightness and happiness and joy are mistaken for like airy fairy kind of thing, but music is really about emotion. It's about joy, um, and I I want to evoke that from other people, and that's what I've always gotten from music, and that's what I've always um, when I'm really like in the moment with music, that's what I feel the most. So I hope that translates. I, I think it does, um, and I really like the uh, very. Um beautiful, light, joyous uh, Christmas song that you did tonight. Thank you. That's very cool. What made you choose that one? I just love that melody, and it's really interesting because the whole song is the same melody repeated over and over and over. Like the chorus and the verse are the exact same melody. Um, it's just a beautiful melody, and we were kind of going back and forth on a few different ones. We had an idea. I love stacking vocals. I love background vocals in the studio, so we had an idea to do almost an exclusively a cappella um, version of the song and so we recorded like a million vocals and um, added a little bit of pizzicato strings and then we ended up um, getting Miklos Malek to orchestrate it um, and Nir who just played with me added some drums and um, I'm really proud of how it turned out our whole team like really pitched in and made it something really special. Do you record mostly in New York or do you go down to Nashville? Or? No we actually record um, in Florida where I live. My production team is in all Florida. based in Florida. Yeah. Okay, we're in Florida. This is yeah, new information. Yeah, it's foot-based. It's foot-based? It's bare feet, foot-based. Socks and oh. sandals, Florida. It's beautiful there. Yeah, I moved there to make this record, and then I never left. It's really pretty down there. It is. Very warm. Very. All year long. It's lovely. Yeah, and I travel, I'm traveling all the time, so whether we're here in Nashville or on tour. So, but I'm, that's where I call home. Thank you, Caroline Jones, for coming through tonight. Um, it's really awesome to have you. What should people look out for next? Uh, people should go to my website to find out where they can come to a show next year. Ooh. And I'll be performing in New York City and Boston and Connecticut in January. We're doing a little headlining run. So that'll be really fun because you'll get to see me in like a smaller club because we're playing mostly arenas and big venues next year. So that'll um, be just my show in a smaller club. So. Do you know where it's at in New York? Yeah, in City York Winery. Oh, very Are cool. Are you guys coming? We definitely are going. Correct. When is it? Is it the uh, January 18th? Great.